Hello everyone. When trying to record virtual instrument data, you've got multiple options in Reaper. The first option that comes to mind is using a MIDI instrument, a MIDI keyboard, a MIDI guitar. The other option would be to control MIDI instruments with the help of your voice. There are plugins in Reaper which allow you to do that, although not 100% precise. And there are more advanced plugins like Dabbler, which allow you to do the same thing. Another alternative, however, would be the virtual MIDI keyboard, which is kind of useful for quickly sketching out ideas or experimenting with an instrument without having to use your keyboard all the time. If you are one of the people like me who don't have their keyboard set up next to the recording PC anyway, and you always have to go and grab it first, and then it's using a lot of space and you're kind of struggling with the space you have, then using the virtual MIDI keyboard can be some help and I will quickly show you how the dialog looks like and how you can use it in this short video. All right, I've got a, a track in front of me which is just holding a virtual instrument, a piano, and I now want to play this with the help of the virtual MIDI keyboard in Reaper. And in order to access that, you need to press Alt B. Virtual MIDI keyboard dialog, virtual keyboard keys grouping. And here we are in the virtual MIDI keyboards dialog. There are some settings in here. I will quickly show them to you, but you could theoretically already start to play the keyboard. Now, by default, you're not focusing anything. You're basically focusing the keyboard element where you can just press keys and you will get notes out of it. And we will now press tab and navigate through all the options. Center note, right click a key to set. Edit selected C4. This is the center note. So that is the note that the keyboard is all revolving around. You've got two octaves on your keyboard right now. And for me, I've configured C4 here and you can configure whatever note you want by just typing it in. It doesn't have to be a C note. You can center it around yeah, literally any note that you can think of, uh, although it would most likely be a bit weird to actually play those. Let's tap a second time. Arrow keys change octave slash channel checkbox checked. If you check that, then while focusing the keyboard element, you can use the arrow keys to change the MIDI channel and the center note really quickly. I will demonstrate this in a second. Uncheck that if you're struggling with changing the keys or the MIDI channel all the time because you're accidentally hitting the arrow keys. So uncheck that if you feel unsure but by default it's checked and it can be rather useful. MIDI channel, combo box one collapsed. That is the MIDI channel that you want the notes to be sent to, which can be interesting and can be a problem as well, because for example, complete control by default only listens to events on channel one. So if you accidentally change this to anything else except MIDI channel one, then it might actually happen that you can't hear anything, although you actually play the notes right. Now, that's it. Let's tap once more. Virtual keyboard keys grouping. And we are back in the keys element, which is just the keyboard. Now, you can just play notes when starting with the Q on my keyboard with the German layout. Um, here's the note. And continuing from there. But you obviously got the black keys as well. Right, and an octave below. And you can now quickly change the center note by pressing the left arrow, for example. So that's rather easy, and you can also use the up and down arrow to change the MIDI channel, which doesn't make any sense now because it's a complete control instrument in my case. So if I change that and then play notes, you don't get any feedback. So change this back to channel one. However, this is really important. You can also change the things by tapping it in here. So let's tap. Center note, right click a key to set. Edit selected C5. So it's C5 right now. It changes according to your key presses if you've checked the arrow key checkbox. 
if I now change this from C5 to something really weird, like F2, F2. Uh, then playing the notes would sound like this. Let's change it back. Here we go. So that is more or less all that needs to be known about the virtual MIDI keyboard. The most important thing, however, is you can now start recording and can just play notes in here and it will be recorded as long as you've got all MIDI inputs checked in the context menu of your recording track. I will just quickly show you. Let's escape out of this. Unsafe. Let's hit context menu on the track that you want to record to. Context menu menu. Use the up arrow a few times. Track and track report or mass meters input, input. MIDI check sub menu I. That's the one. Let's hit right arrow there. Virtual MIDI keyboard sub menu V. And down. All MIDI inputs check sub menu. That's opening. All channels checked. Up. And that needs to be checked. Uns now, Everything coming from whatever MIDI device they can just think of, doesn't matter if it's your mic, if it's your keyboard, if it's your whatever instrument, or if it's the virtual MIDI keyboard, everything will be recorded so you can easily record from your virtual MIDI keyboard as well and manipulate the data that you played in afterwards so that it sounds more natural and crazy good. So in the case that you're struggling with space, or you don't have a MIDI instrument at all and you just want to play around with it, that is the way to go. I hope this video proves useful. If you've got any questions, ideas, whatever it might be, feel free to comment below this video. And if you liked it, then subscribe to the channel and I will promise that I will upload more videos like this in the future. Thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye-bye.